Hello, my name is Keith Cooper and I'm going to be looking at various aspects of how you use tilt shift lenses such as this uh, TSE 17. Now I'll be looking at shift, diagonal shift, horizontal shift, stitching and then aspects of using tilt. Uh, to keep it simple I'm just covering individual aspects of lens use in each of these short videos. There will be more appearing over time as I get them done. Thank you. In this example I'm showing how taking two photographs, one with no shift or shifted down and one with shift up, can be combined and stitched to give you a larger image, both more megapixels and a wider coverage. Now I'm using the Canon EOS RP here with a TSC 17 tilt shift lens. So that itself gives a pretty wide angle view. But the building I'm going to take the photograph of here, which is the VJ Patel building at uh, De Montfort University in Leicester, um, I'm close enough that I'm going to have difficulty in reaching coverage of the whole of the building in one shot. I could turn the camera around and use uh, in portrait view, but I'm going to do this in landscape view. Remember too though that you're seeing this in 16.9, so the actual photo taken by the camera is wider. There's the view shifting upwards, as you can see, because I'm using shift, straight lines keep perfectly straight. There's no converging verticals with it. So we look up at the top, I can have that as the top of my image, and then when I take it down again, that can be the second half of the image. I'm just going to stitch two here. I will look um, in another time at stitching horizontally, which is slightly different, but uh, I use this quite a lot where I require extra coverage, basically more megapixels um, and larger coverage than I can get with a single shot from a lens. So I'm going to take one picture here and one with it shifted upwards. So that'll give me two images to process. Now I've processed these images and you should process them, take them at the same camera settings and process them at the same settings because we're going to match the two up. So we've got the straightforward view and we've got the looking up view. Although because it's a tilt a shift lens and I've shifted it up, I've got no problems of matching up. Now I'm using Photoshop's Photo Merge here. You can use any number of bits of software for doing this stitching. Notice however that I'm doing a reposition. I'm not doing an auto stitch of them because that can sometimes be fooled by the perspective of the image and introduce a lean or some effect you don't really want. But anyway, simple repositioning of the two images. They're both taken from the same place so of course they should match up. There's nothing particularly close to the camera here so I'm not going to get any parallax problems. I'll, I'll look at that in another video but here for a simple use I've got a square image of perhaps 35-40 megapixel equivalent taken with a 26 megapixel EOS RP. I hope that was of help. Um, do have a look at the link at the end of the video that goes to lots more articles on the North Light Images website explaining just what you can do with these lenses and why they make such a difference.